In the world of the television soap, Coronation Street is king. 50 years of broadcasting on our screens has not diminished the popularity of the programme one iota. Fans still graffiti their names on the road signs of this Manchester street where ITV Granada is based. Barbed wire separates the constant gaggle of autograph hunters from their favourite stars. And freelance photographers with extra long zoom lenses can still turn a fast buck from snaps of the actors leaving the Weatherfield cobbles. When the show started in 1961, the opening shot was of Archie Street in Audsall, and so Coronation Street became the most famous street in Salford that's not actually in Salford. So it was with particular interest that Salford Online were invited onto the set to shoot an interview with street stalwart Julie Hesmond-Halsh, also known as Hayley Cropper, one of the best-loved characters, and we got our first taste of life behind the scenes on the Salford set soap. Salford Online's own shadowy editor gets repeatedly caught on camera here, much to his evident dismay. The attention to detail is the first thing you notice. The back streets of the houses come complete with recycling bins, and Julie's favourite part of the set, the tunnel that supposedly leads out of the street is painted on, to trick the eye into thinking the set goes beyond its modest dimensions. Posters from dance music nights and GMPTE bus stops add realism to this fictional community. The recognisable shop frontages include Prima Donna, Hayley Cropper's own Roy's Rolls, Elliot and Son's Master Butchers, the streetcar's taxi rank, the Rosamond Street Medical Centre, most famous of all, the Rover's Return Pub, the cabin newsagent selling the Weatherfield Gazette, and Webster's Mechanics. Alan's off-licence, the only part of the street that can be seen from outside the gates, completes Coronation Street. By the time you finish the tour, it's hard not to feel that this is somehow real. But scaffolding shows that at the end of the day, and despite all the evidence to the contrary, it is just a set after all. There'll be a new Coronation Street soon, rebuilt at Trafford Wharf opposite the BBC's Media City development. Soon it'll come to an end, an era of television programming which, despite being fictional and not in Salford, has done the most internationally to put our city on the map.